Maraidon goes for a stab, Dragon Pulse into Shiny Slitherwing. Shiny Slitherwing goes down. Hello everybody, Ace Trinaleem here. Welcome back to Metromania, our ongoing metronome only double battle tournament to determine the Metromania champion. Last week, Iron Hands took out Iron Valiant to take the fourth and final place in the semi-finals. Can you believe the semi-finals have come around already? This week, we get to find out the first of our two grand finalists for season 13, as we have Slitherwing taking on the legendary Miraidon. So here we go, Slitherwing versus Miraidon. Slitherwing defeated Roaring Moon to get here. Horidon, Miraidon beat Coridon to get here. And now we have the first of our semi-finals. We see that Hadron engine taking effect and of course bringing the electric terrain. No sleep for a while, everyone. Foul play into Slitherwing is not very effective from Shiny Miraidon, but over to regular Miraidon now with the follow-up. Regular Miraidon's gonna go for a four times effective gust. Huge damage there to Shiny Slitherwing straight away. How will Shiny Slitherwing respond? It's only got 44 hit points left. Goes for a four times resisted charge beam into Shiny Miraidon, but does get the special attack boost. So I guess it's, it's better than nothing, right? Here comes the regular Slitherwing though, who's gonna go for a strength sap, lower the attack of that uh, Shiny Miraidon by one stage and heal itself back up to maximum HP which, to be, to be fair, isn't particularly far, is it? Now over to the Shiny Miraidon to stop the next turn, and it's going to go for Astonish into that Slitherwing there. Astonish the subscribe button. Hit, turn on the bell for all notifications and all that. As Miraidon goes for a stab Dragon Pulse into Shiny Slitherwing. Shiny Slitherwing goes down. It is out of this round. We're now just down to one Slitherwing versus two Miraidon already. It's only turn two. Shy, uh, regular Slitherwing goes for Noble Roar into that regular Miraidon there. Going to drop its attack and special attack by one stage apiece. I think Miraidon isn't too worried about the physical attack. It's more the special attack that it's got to worry about. Goes for a Mega Drain. Not very effective on Slitherwing there but will restore a little bit of its HP if it had actually taken any damage yet, which it hasn't. So here's Shiny Miraidon with Attract. That's going to fail on all these genderless Pokemon. That's the beauty of genderless Pokemon. They're all immune to Attract. Oh boy, that's a conversation for a different day. <laughs> here's a gust from Slitherwing into Shiny Miraidon. And now regular Miraidon follows up with a magic room. I believe that's going to mean that held items lose their effects. Yeah, so no leper berries. Great. That's really going to be helpful, my dude. And now over to shiny Slitherwing, who's going to go for baby doll eyes and lower the attack stat of Slitherwing by one stage. The attack stat, of course, Slitherwing's bread and butter. Here is the Slitherwing firing back with a howl. So it's going to raise its attack by one stage there. And now over to the Miraidon, the regular Miraidon, who's going to go for Poison Gas, but it's going to be avoided by Slitherwing there, so it's not going to do anything for the Miraidon team. Now, Shiny Miraidon follows up with Encore, but that's going to fail because it's a metronome battle. This is a free opportunity for Slitherwing to cause some damage to its opponents. What's it going to do here? Slitherwing's going to go for Terra Blast, which will be a normal type move because, of course, it's not Terrastalize. Barely any damage there to Shiny Miraidon because, of course, Terra Blast is a special attack unless you are Terrastalized. So here is Miraidon with Fissure, and it's going to land. So that's the end of Slitherwing for this round. Let's hear from our sponsors. My word. Now, I know this is rare for me, but I'm going to take a little moment to talk to you all about G Fuel. I lied, it's not rare at all, is it? G Fuel, if you haven't heard of before, and if you're a long-time fan of this channel, I'm surprised you haven't. We've been sponsored by them for three entire years. It's a wonderful energy formula with barely any calories, zero sugar, and a whole heap of wonderful flavors like the absolutely delectable Nemesis Tea that I'm drinking today. Have I ever told you Nemesis Tea is my favorite flavor? Because by the way, Nemesis Tea is my favorite flavor. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. There's a reason it's my favorite flavor. It's because it's so bloody goddamn good. And the best part is you can use our channel's code, code ACE, to save yourself 20% off your G Fuel order. That's an entire fifth off your order. And whilst you're using that, it helps support this channel as well. So thank you very much to everybody that goes to gfuel.com and uses code ACE at checkout. Remember though, G Fuel is for over 18s only because it contains caffeine and children don't need to be anywhere near caffeine. They're annoying enough as it is. And because it contains caffeine, drink it responsibly. Don't be a dickhead, dickhead.
So here we go with round two. Miraidon ending Slitherwing last round with a fissure like it needed to, right? There's the Hadron engine taking effect, raising the, um, the what do you call it, the special attack of Miraidon? Yes, the, it, it raises the special attack, I'm pretty sure. And here's Crunch, not very effective into Slitherwing and a physical attack, which Miraidon ain't too good at. Over to Shiny Miraidon now. No, what's it going to do as a follow-up? It's going to go for Perish Song. Hang about with Perish Song. Doesn't the slowest Pokemon on the field survive? So if Miraidon doesn't deal with the Slitherwings quickly, it may lose this round with its own move. There's a super effective Aurora Beam, but Slitherwing just doesn't have the special attack to be able to deal much damage with that Aurora Beam. Uh, and here's a Poison Powder from Shiny Slitherwing onto Shiny Miraidon, looking to take it out of contention for this round. And now we see the poison damage take effect on Shiny Miraidon there. And now we're going to see the next turn begin. Here's the Perish sound. We're not going to see the next turn begin because everyone's Perish count has to fall to three, you know, before we do anything. So only two turns left for each of these Pokemon. Or three turns, two turns, three turns, kind of. You know what I mean. Here's a superpower, not very effective on Slitherwing from Shiny Miraidon there, who loses one stage of attack and defense. Crucially, the defense is going to be the big issue for Miraidon. Although the Miraidon team need to get on the offense ASAP. Although Final Gambit's one way to do it from Miraidon. Takes out regular Slitherwing and takes itself down. So now it's just Shiny Miraidon versus Slitherwing. Regular Slitherwing. But however, I'm pretty sure if this Perish count goes to zero, I'm pretty sure Slitherwing wins this round. I'm, I'm fairly sure that's how it works. Uh, Slitherwing trying to go for Perish Song when it's already in effect. That is a fail. What is it with everyone wanting to do Perish Song here? There's more poison damage onto Shiny Miraidon, making it a little bit easier for Slitherwing to potentially take it down. What's going to happen next as Shiny Miraidon begins the next turn? Gets itself ready, goes for Lash Out, which is a dark type move onto Slitherwing. Not very effective once again. Miraidon's not doing a good job of taking down Slitherwing here. Slitherwing fires back with Fell Stinger with the same type of attack bonus behind it. Puts Shiny Miraidon in the danger zone. Miraidon it might die to the poison before the Perish Song takes... Oh, it doesn't matter because if Shiny Miraidon doesn't faint next turn, the Perish Count will hit zero anyway. So there's nothing it can do. It goes for a Hex onto Slitherwing there for a decent chunk of damage, but it's not enough to take down Slitherwing. Slitherwing has to do literally anything, and it will be fine. Goes for Water Gun to take out Miraidon. We won't get to the end of the Perish or the Poison. Miraidon is down. We're going to a round three. Slitherwing or Miraidon still in this competition. Well, Slitherwing and Miraidon still in this competition. One of these two teams has to win this round and go through to the semi-finals. The first of our, sorry, the, our finals. We're in the semi-finals. One of these two teams will be one of our finalists. Who's it gonna be? We have an Icicle Crash coming out from the ride on onto Shiny Slitherwing there. Not a great deal of damage, but could have a chance to flinch. Shiny Miraidon is gonna follow up with Steel Roller. Use that electric terrain to its advantage for some big damage with that critical hit. Gets rid of the terrain, which actually isn't beneficial for the Miraidon team, but that huge damage to Slitherwing, Shiny Slitherwing was beneficial. Here's a slash from regular Slitherwing onto Miraidon there for a decent chunk of damage. And now Shiny Slitherwing finally gets to retaliate with an Ice Beam. But again, it's a special attacker, so it didn't do as much damage as it potentially could have done, even being super effective. Only did about a third of Shiny Miraidon's HP. Here's an Icy Wind from regular Miraidon. Going to slow down both Slitherwing with that little bit of chip damage. Shiny Slitherwing is in the danger zone at just 19 hit points left. And now Shiny Miraidon is looking to follow up. It gets his metronome ready and goes for Pollen Puff into Slitherwing, but of course that's not very effective against a fighting type Pokemon. Now Shiny Slitherwing looks to reply once again and it goes for Smart Strike. It's four, ta it four times resisted? No, it's one times resisted because of the uh, two times resisted. You know, you know what I mean? Because of the electric typing, but not because of the dragon typing. Skitter Smack though into Shiny Miraidon for a good chunk of damage there. Drops the special attack. Very important for the Slitherwing team here. And now Shiny Miraidon is going to is going to follow up sorry with firefang super effective down goes shiny slitherwing we're down to just one slitherwing versus two miraidon and if this slitherwing can survive these two miraidon it'll go through as our first finalist what is regular miraidon going to do here going to go for electro ball with super time attack bonus behind it into Slitherwing, brings it down to just 49 hit points. Slitherwing looks to reply though, and it's gonna go for a victory dance. Shades of Victini, I believe. There goes its attack up one stage. There goes its defense up one stage. 
There goes its speed up one stage. Will it be enough, though, at this stage of the competition? We see Shiny Maridon going for a super effective Ember into Slitherwing. Brings it into the danger zone. Just 19 hit points left. Over to regular Maridon now. And regular Maridon's going to go for a Sleep Powder and put Slitherwing to sleep. This is the worst possible thing that could happen to Slitherwing other than being KO'd right now. It's a sitting duck in the third round of the semi-finals. It's so close to the final, but it's now fast asleep over to Shiny Maridon, who's going to go for a Dragon Dance and increase its attack and its speed by one stage apiece, getting itself ready to do some disastrous damage potentially on the next turn. If we make it that far, as regular Maridon gets itself ready, goes for a Terror Blast, normal type special attack into Slitherwing. That's the game. 2-1 to Maridon. Slitherwing bows out after such a great, great season but now Miraidon the legendary Pokemon is going through to the finals the first of our finalists is Miraidon so either Iron Moth or Iron Hands is going to be facing Miraidon and that's going to be a very uphill battle for whoever takes it on now let's say a quick thank you to our Ace Trainer Ultra XL members who are Bro Metapod, Purple Dragonair, Ghost Lupin, Sin City Yeti, Mumbai Cobra, Gear Overlord, Toy Bonnie, TJ the Nerd, Night Angel, Lucas Gates, Gamer Guy Mike, Kingly Gamer YT, Viridian Falk, and Poker Trainer Dean. Thank you all so much for your massive support on our channel. So that'll do it for another episode of Metromania. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Share the video with a friend. Head to this channel right here for my live streams five days a week. I almost forgot where I streamed then. And of course, click the join button to become a channel member and use code ACE to save 20% on your G Fuel order. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.